So we were unable to connect to our Docker container on localhost colon 3000. Now, why exactly were we unable to do that? Well, let's take a look at our Docker file. And if we go back here, uh, we can see that uh, we do have this command expose 3000. And I think naturally most of us would assume, hey, look, we're exposing port 3000, so we should be able to access that. Well, not exactly. This line does absolutely nothing. This is really more for documentation purposes. If you delete this command and create a brand new image, it will not impact our image or container at all in any way, shape, or form. It's just so that when you share your Docker file with someone else, they'll know, hey, look, this um, image expects you to open up uh, port 3000 for everything to work. So this line doesn't actually open up port 3000. And the thing about Docker containers is, by default, they can talk to the outside world. So if a Docker container wants to reach out to the internet or wants to reach out to any other devices in your host network, uh, it can do that. However, outside devices like the internet or your host machine or any other machine from the outside world, by default, cannot talk to our Docker container. This is almost like a built-in security mechanism, right? You don't want the outside world to be able to access your Docker container, but your Docker container can, can, outside, can access them. So how do we make it so that the outside world can talk to our Docker container? And keep in mind, when I say outside world, I don't just mean the internet, I also mean our local host machine, right? And when I say local host machine, I mean my Windows machine right here, right? To actually uh, talk to the container from my computer, which is kind of seen as like an outside device, we have to um, poke a hole in our host machine. Uh, and what I mean by that is that um, by default, right, our Docker container, nothing from the outside world can talk to our Docker container. Uh, so we have to basically say on our host machine, hey, if we receive traffic on a specific port, we want to forward that traffic to our Docker container. And the way we do that is, um, it's very easy. First of all, let's kill our container. Uh, we don't need that anymore. So I'm going to do a Docker RM and then specify the name of our container. Well, so we'll do no dash app. And then I'm going to pass in the dash F flag. So this is, stands for force. Um, so by default, usually you have to stop a container before you can delete it. If you pass the dash F flag, it'll allow you to delete a running container. All right, so now if I do a Docker PS, we should see an empty list. So let's do Docker, uh, let's rerun that command. But here I'm gonna pass in another, uh, another flag. I'm gonna pass in the dash P flag. I'm gonna specify uh, this. So let me explain what this is in a second. So we've got port 3000 and then colon 3000. So what exactly does this mean? We've got two different numbers. We've got the 3,000 to the left of the colon and 3,000 to the right of the colon. So the number to the right, let's start off with this one, is the um, basically the port that we're going to send traffic to on our container. And our container, remember our application is listening on port 3,000, so we want to send this to port 3,000, right? If this was set to 2,000, then we would want to set this to 2,000. So whatever our container is expecting traffic on, the number to the right of the colon should be set to that value. Now the number to the left represents, um, it represents traffic that's going to be uh, basically coming in from the outside world. So if another device on your network uh, or even your local host machine, right, my Windows machine, if we send traffic to localhost port 3000, right, we're going to take traffic that's coming in on port 3000 and sending it to port 3000 on our container. Um, but in this case, even though the two numbers are the same, they don't have to be. So let's say uh, we wanted to um, basically poke a hole so that anybody that sends traffic to our Windows host machine here on port 4000, uh, we should then forward it to our Docker container. In that case, we would change this to a 4000 and we would keep this to port 3000 because remember, it's still listening on port 3000. However, if this was 2000, then we would change um, this number to be 2000 here, right? So hopefully that makes sense. I've set up a little quick diagram uh, I don't know if you guys understood it at this point, but hopefully the diagram makes it a little bit easier to understand. So let me pull that up. Uh, so here in this diagram, um, I've got my host machine, right? Which is this big blue box, which is my Windows machine. And then I've got this node container in green right here. Uh, and so what's going to happen is, uh, you know, we've got those two numbers, right? Basically, what we want to do is when our uh, host machine, right? Our Windows machine receives traffic on port 3000. What we want to do is we want to take that and forward it to port 3000 on our node container. So that's why we have 3000 colon 3000. So the first 3000 represents the red arrow. And then the second 3000 represents the yellow arrow. And this also applies when we send traffic from our host machine to the local host IP, so to ourselves. So if we send uh, traffic to localhost port 3000, it's going to take that traffic and it's going to forward it to port 3000. And once again, like I said before, 
we don't have to do 3,000 to 3,000. We could change this to uh, 4,000, and then we would send traffic to localhost 4,000, and it would forward it to traffic on port 3,000 on our node container, because once again, our node container is listening on port 3,000, because that's what our express server is listening on. All right, so hopefully that made sense. I'm going to run my container now, so I'll hit enter. And I changed everything back to 3,000 colon 3,000 because uh, that's just a little bit simpler. Why not have both of those numbers match? There's no need to unnecessarily complicate things. Let's do a Docker PS. All right, and you'll see that we've got our container, but um, we under this port section, you can see that it looks a little different. You can see that um, right here, we've got basically 0 .0 0.0.0.0 on port 3,000 with an arrow to 3,000 slash TCP. So what this is saying is any traffic destined to your host machine uh, for uh, you know my Windows machine right here on port 3000 is going to get forward to port 3000 on my container. So now let's go back to their web page and let's do a refresh. And you can see now it says hi there. So we have successfully sent a request to our Docker container on port 3000.